Hey guys, welcome back. Sam from Unreal Madness here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pick up and drop an object inside Unreal Engine 4. Now, to start this all off, what we need to do is we need to grab our character that is going to be picking and dropping the object. We need to then select Edit Blueprint and Open Blueprint Editor. Now, there are multiple ways to do this and my method is my method. So if you don't like it, don't like it. So what we need to do is, what I, my method is, is we're going to be using functions to create our code. It's much neater and frees up um, and frees up a lot of space on the event graph. So we need to start off is we need to create two functions. One's called grab object, and we need to create another one called release object. Now there is two things we're going to need to add into this. One of them is going to be a physics handler as this will be controlling the physics and um, holding the object what we're going to be doing. Now this doesn't have any place on here, any place on the screen. So we need to create a scene object so we can reference the point where we want to the object to, um, to drop into. So I'm just going to move this out to a reasonable uh, distance, around right about there, maybe a bit further. So once that is all done, what we then need to do is go into our grab object. And from the grab object, we want to have a line trace by channel. So drag the off, type in line trace by channel. Now a line trace by channel is basically a method of having a line trace between one, one position to another but being able to detect what object is in between it or blocking it or anything like that or how many objects are there. So we're going to be using this to detect if the object is in front of us to pick it up. So what we want to do is we want to drag off our first person camera because this is where we want to start it. Now drag off from first person camera and type in get world location. Now, with the Git world location, just click that to start. Drag off from first person camera again, and we need to type in Git forward vector. Now, the forward vector is basically obviously getting the vector how far it is forward. So, what we want to do is we want to drag that off and we want to times it by a float. So, just, time, so just put in the time scheme and you want a vector times float and when you have that out. Now this is going to control our length of our line trace. So if you want the character to be able to pick up an object that is a thousand feet away then place it to a thousand or two thousand or whatever. If you want the uh, character to have to pick up the object really close then set it to something like a hundred or two hundred something along those lines. Well, I'm going to choose 150. I think that's quite reasonable um, distance. Um, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to drag that off and I'm going to plus vector, plus vector. I'm going to connect that world location. And I'm just going to connect that to the end. So start to the end. Now that is all good. Um, for debug reasons, you might want to have this persistent because then you get to see the result of it. And see if it's actually hitting the object because you might have set this up wrong. It's like doing hitting straight up in the sky or well so it's always best to have that on persistent until the game is pretty much ready to be rolled off or you can confirm it properly works so from here then we want to have a branch now this branch is going to detect if the object we want to pick up is simulating physics as that is kind of a necessary for this you know if it's not simulating physics when we drop the object it's just going to stay in midair and we don't want that we want it to fall on the ground so the way we're going to do this is we're going to go back to a line trace by channel on the out hit we're going to drag that off and we're going to type in break hit result now the break hit result basically tells us all the information about the object is hitting whether it's an actor or a component or anything like that so what then we want to do is on hit component, drag off and type in is simulating physics. Now this will tell us if the component we've hit is simulating physics is what we want. If true, we want to 
bring out our physics handle that we have in our components tab and we want to drag that off and we want to type in grab component now this is pretty much the heart of everything this is what grabs the object so we just want to select that to true and then for the component we just want that to be select to hit component now the grab location is going to be the component again to so drag off hit component and type in get world location as this will get the location of the hit component now that is set up what we want to do is we want to create a variable so we've got a plus variable here and we want to t name this holding make sure it is a boolean um, if it's not just click here and select boolean because what we are going to be setting up later is what happens obviously you pick up and drop commands via the same button so just drag off holding to here set it and just tick it now I believe that is all sorted so we compile that and go to our release object and from the release object we want to drag off physics handle again and drag that off and type in release object our release component now this is what drops the component prevents it from being grabbed now from here we want to drag off hold in again and we want to set it we make sure we don't we don't want this tick this time uh, just to make sure I didn't tick it last time oh I did tick it last time good good and now that is set up we want to compile that so that is pretty much everything set up so if we go into our event graph now we want an event tick for this reason being is the event handler will stay in one position we want it to keep up with the player so I'm going to be using the event tick for this so I'm just going to drag that off and I'm going to type in set target location and you want to select the physics handle version click and press enter and there we go you have that node now the new location so remember our scene component we have here the where we're going to reference it so we're going to use that basically as a reference to tell the physics handler where to go so one thing to do also as well is make sure the scene component is um, childed to the first person camera and you want to drag off scene component and you want to drag off from that and you want to type in get world location now this will get the location of the scene component and it will set the physics handle to be in this location reason being is we can't really um, there's not really a point on this for the physics handle this is just pretty, pretty much a cheap way to get around it so now that is set up we just have to input our command to pick up and drop the object so the command I'm going to be using for this it will be F so click F drag that up and I'm going to be using a branch reason being is when we click once we want it to grab the object and when we click again we want to drop the object so I am going to drag off the variable hold in that we made and we're going to get that and connect up to condition so if we are holding an object it will go the true and we want to release object so now we've created functions all we got to do is type in release and obviously it will call function release object now if we are picking up the object we want to drag off and we want to type in grab object so the way this works is press F are we holding the object if we're not holding an object we grab an object if we are holding an object it will release an object now I believe that is all sorted and we have all this done let's try it out so to tell if an object has uh, property physics simu simulating physics let's shoot it it'll move you show it will show it simulating physics just pick it up there we go we have it so if we go over here chuck oops okay so press F to pick it up I can't chuck it up there and press F to drop and that's pretty much how you do it guys now this will work with any um, object simulating physics and can work well with a few puzzles you know obviously picking stuff up and putting it into a hole like um, uh, I don't like those puzzles you play as a kid I'll put a picture up and so guys if you like the video don't forget to like if you have a question don't forget to comment it in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed subscribe now till next time guys